I want to talk about how I'm doing my rear bench seat. So I'm still working on it and iterating. And uh, but so what I did is I've got two, you can see two long pieces and above the stringers, it, it's angled back just a little. So I don't know if you, you can see that where back on the way that's cut and that one sticks up further. So these support boards are actually at a slight okay. angle in that way. So the seat will be angled back a little bit. And then what I did is I've got a, a support brace in the front here, right in the center. And the way I, I wanted to do that, because it could take a fair amount of force of people sitting there. So that is flush, flush <clears throat> with that piece. And then I've got another piece here to hold it on. I haven't epoxied any of these in yet. And then the back, that piece is screwed uh, to the floor timber. And then this just sets on it. So it's, this is just, this will be able to be removable if need be. Um, I've got a piece here and then another one on the other side. And then the, the, uh, these back piece just screws in on that. And that's what will hold the seat. Um, and then what I'm doing, I've got that and that. And then the way that works, it's going to work, is I've got these hinges. And let's see if I can show this. And what I'm going to do is put them like that. And uh, that way the seat actually is going to be able to fold down. And I'll show you here in a second. And I've got one more, one more of these that goes in the center um, right here. And uh, so that'll go in the center. So there'll be three hinges that hold that. And one second, I'll show you what it's going to look like with the back seat back sitting in there. So there's kind of like, kind of what that bench seat will look like, or the seat back, I mean, will look like sitting in there. And then now you can see how the hinge is going to go like that. And then it'll be able to fold down. Now, the reason I'm, I have this set back, I have it set back two inches, is the seat. Um, so I'll be making two platform pieces for the seat that you actually sit on and then they will um, extend back here two inches. Actually, I mean, I have them extend back two inches, but the reason I've got this two inches is because this, I'm planning on two inch padding. And uh, so that'll be two inches sticking out there and then this will uh, extend forward and I'll have this go back or go forward and probably overhang like roughly two inches. And, uh, but when, to be able to fold this down is I'll have to take out those two pieces cause that'll be two inches down here too. And uh, two inch thick padding. And so you'll remove those. They're meant to be removable. I'm gonna have storage underneath here anyway. And then so you can move those and then fold that down if need be. I may put storage compartments behind it or it's just if I ever need to um, work back there. Now there's actually gonna be framing around the edge and see got along the bottom and I I'm having to rework this thing. I had I had framing up all the way around on the back side. You can see those holes at the top where I've had to actually sand that down because I don't want it sticking up so high. Uh, I want it to be uh, a little bit low because then when the padding goes on it'll stick up a little bit. And uh, so that was the first mistake I made on this boat. Okay, that was a joke, um, one of many. <laughs> so I'm having to rework this quite a bit. But anyway, I'll show you what it looks like um, once I get it more complete. One thing I didn't mention before when I talked about how that was supported in the center, uh, but also on the sides, I've got little little feet, one there, and then there's one ooh, there's in the back. And the same kind of thing, I have those little pieces sitting flush with this because um, otherwise there's nothing to hold it once you get out out here nothing to hold it up and down and then I've got a little little part that you can see and there are many different ways to do this but I kind of screwed it on there and then that little foot sticks down lower and uh, so kind of like I, I did here in the center um, but just a smaller scale and there you can see the two two little support pieces for those feet over there. So, 
So now the seat back is mounted with the three hinges and there's that third brace that I put there. One thing I didn't mention before is the height, the height of um, where this goes up, this is flush with this surface, goes up and it's, it's two inches because the two inch foam, um, if you remember, to fold that down, I'll have to remove the seats. The parts that people sit on, the padding will all come in one, one piece. But then there's two inch foam on here. And so when you fold this down, I needed it to be two inches above that bottom edge. That way it can fold down. And uh, it's there and there you can see the, the uh, I guess, framing all pieces in place there. I still have to epoxy all this, but I might put one vertical member here. I'm not sure. I don't know if I really need it, but but you can see how that works. And uh, so I'm pretty happy with it. Um, and and just for reference, from the, the back edge of this long piece to the front edge of this one is 15 inches. And I plan on overhanging two in front. And uh, so that will make my seat 17 inches deep. And I think that's pretty good. So... So that's what that looks like.